Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to create a simple twin using the twin light and how to use the from to from to and set methods. Okay, to start animating with GreenSock, we will firstly include the twin light. That's the core of the plugin. It is a core of GreenSock animation library and lets you animate any property with a number value. Okay, that could be width or height. And if we want to also animate the CSS properties, we would need to include the CSS plugin. Okay, so I'm also including it here because that is the most likely scenario that you will need to include if you want to start animating with GreenSock. So TwinLight and CSS plugin are the two files that you need to at least include in your project. We'll save the index file and go to the main.js and create the first twin light. Okay, we'll create a twin light. The method will state two. The element will be our IMG. Duration will keep one second and the variables, the vars we want to animate will be width and 100. Okay, so we'll changing the width of the image to be 100 at the end of the twin. And here it is in a browser. Okay, so we've got image scaling down. So the width was animating from the original size down to 100 pixels because that's what we've defined in our JavaScript file. If we wanted to animate multiple properties of that image, so let's remove the width and we'll change it. We want to animate it to go to the right. So we'll set X to be 200. Okay, this will move the image 200 pixels to the right from the original position. So the CSS position, wherever we've set it up in the CSS style sheet is the starting position. And then we're moving it from there using the transform matrix to end up 200 pixels from the original X position. To animate the image into the opposite direction, we can change the value to minus 200. That will animate it the other way. And if we want to set the starting point to be here and animating it into the middle, into the CSS position, then we can change the method from to to from. Okay, so we're animating it from, duration stays the same, and this is the starting value, and the ending value will be the CSS position. So if I refresh the page now, we should see it going from left and ending where we defined in the style sheet. But what if we want to define the starting and ending position at the same time? There is a method for that in GreenSock as well. And that method is called from to. Okay, so if we change the method to from to, and we'll keep the object IMG duration the same, but we'll need to also include the ending attributes of that image and we'll change that. We'll just use comma and inside of a new object, we'll pass it the right values. So we're starting at X minus 200 and we're animating to X 200. Okay, so somewhere in the middle, there is the CSS position, which we won't see applied. Okay, so if we refresh it in the browser, you should see the image starting on the left and finishing on the right. You can also set a value. You can use the set method to just set the CSS properties of elements and that will happen without any duration. Okay, so once you're using the set method, make sure you remove the duration as well. And this will just set the image to X minus 200 without animating it at all. Okay, sometimes it's useful on a larger scale projects, you want to set elements maybe outside of the view before they animating in. Now let's create a second twin and try to animate the table of content box inside of the view or fade it in while the image, once the image is in the middle of the viewport. So we go back to JavaScript, create a new variable h2 and we'll duplicate the twin and just underneath we'll animate the h2. The duration will stay the same, but we want these to fade in. Okay, so we'll use the auto alpha property and we'll start from zero. Okay, that means that the opacity will be zero and also visibility will be set to hidden. And once the auto alpha is one, the visibility will be set 
to visible and during the transition as well. Okay, so if we refresh this in the browser, we should see image fading in or image sliding in and the table of content fading in. Okay, we want these two things to happen in a sequence. So we want first the image come in and then the table of content. So we need to include little delay on the second twin. Okay, so we'll set the delay to be the duration of the first twin. Okay, so once this is completed, we want to play the second twin. Refresh the browser. And now you see the two twins happening one after the other. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video. But if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.